What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, I want to talk about something today that is dear to my heart. And that is in the African-American community, while we do have big personalities and people who are funny and people who are part of the African-American male archetype or black community archetype or stereotype of being cool, being very witty. There are many people who are actually not like that in the African-American community. Everybody's funny or in the way that African-Americans will typically display humor. Not everybody is loud or boisterous. Although I am, I mean, I'm a typical, <laughs> I'm a nigga, so I'm <laughs> just gonna be honest, but every, everybody is not, a lot of people are not like me. But at the same time, I can respect many people of our community who have contributed to our causes, who are brilliant in their own way, but yet still different. And a lot of black men are like what I'm about to talk about today, because this is one of the reasons why a lot of black men have integrated into the major society or have left black America altogether. And in this video on Willow Smith is very dear to my heart. And you know, Willow is the, 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 the son and daughter of Willow and Jaden of Jada Pinkett and Will Smith. Okay. And on the latest episode of red table talk, she said that she believed that her brother and her have been shunned a little bit for being too different. Okay. She talks about, when she was 11, her mom cut her hair off and she got backlash and that, you know, um, you know, Jaden Smith got, you know, Jada Pinkett Smith said that, you know, she was mom shamed as Jaden got older and been, you know, uh, dressing unconventionally, like wearing a skirt for Louis Vuitton. And we also know that Jaden Smith had at a certain point came out as being gay. I don't know if he was trolling or something like that, but, you know, this is... You know, this is this is this is what he's he said, okay? All right, I I I don't know how, how that works out. What's going on with him? I don't know if he's trolling. But I do understand that I, I understand that 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 people like them are gonna be considered different. All right. If you have a nose ring, if you like certain music and, and, and the thing about it is in the African-American community, people who are different are excommunicated. We don't necessarily may say that, you know, but it's true. And what happens is that, and I think that, 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 that Will Smith and, 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 and Jada Pinkett are victims of their own success. Once uh, 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 people that come from like the inner city, like Will and Jada did, once they have children, they, they live amongst people that are not like typical African-Americans. It's hard for them to relate to the culture. A lot of their friends are not white or not black. A lot of the you know, things that they do, they're, they're hanging out in Malibu, hanging out in Beverly Hills. So their whole experience is different than Will and Jada's. And then a lot of black people hold them to different standards. It's just like, you know, Nigerian American kids or, or African children, you know, or if, if they grow up in America, when they go back to Nigeria, or go back to Uganda or wherever they're from, uh, people, people don't look at them the same. But the, the issue is that once we do that, we do lose the opportunity <clears throat> to have a different perspective. We lose a different opportunity 
to build something that is that's capable with people who are proven and a lot of times we don't get those those skilled people who have uh you know see things a different way they have had some of the better things in life or maybe they're just a little bit different and and because we don't accept them they end up hating the black community and i'm gonna tell you like this people like willow smith and jayden smith they end up sometimes either they become hard hardcore staunch liberals for the left or they become like trump supporters they end up interracially marrying they end up degrading the black community because they, they were they were treated very mean and i think for me that we need to understand for those of us who have a black experience i grew up at mount Olive baptist church in del paso heights you know when i lived in compton i went to community aoh you know i went to hbcu you know so for me i'm i understand the black experience which is why i love the black community so much but some of our people have not had those experiences but they still would like to be accepted you know they still want to be able to be in tune with their people because the african i'm gonna talk about this and i've learned this too love being in the, uh, in the continent of africa i love my time in europe but the only group of people that you can really say that you culturally have a lot in common with are african americans now you do have something in common with africans true don't get me wrong you do you have a lot in common with africans but the people your tribe are African American, like it or not, if that's your community, okay? And when your own community says to you that you're not welcome here, you're not, it's a hurting thing. You know, because a person talks too white or they sound different or like different things. I don't think we should like, we should discriminate on people because of that. We should discriminate uh, uh, on people for being either they're good people or they're not, all right? And we are losing too many of our talented people to white folks. We're losing too many of our talented people to foreign countries. And I'm talking about non African countries. <clears throat> We're losing our people because they have different interests or they grew up different. We're making fun of them. We're criticizing them. You know, a lot of black men have been through that because, you know, because they sound different. They dress different, you know, you know, they have different styles. Now, you know, this Gucci dress stuff like that, like I'm, I'm not stop. Like I, I'm not going to, that needs to be clowned in my opinion. All right. No matter what the race is, that's, that's something that's like, come on, you know, like don't make people try to accept that. In my honest opinion, like if you were wearing women's clothes, then of course somebody gonna say something about that in any culture. All right, that's that's why. But if this is somebody that likes different music, their hair color is different. Hey, get to know the person. That might be one of the best people that you ever talk to. You know. And we just need to understand that our people, we should love them. We accept them for where they are and not try to change them and see what as African-American people, you know, what, what can we agree on? You know, a lot of times we, 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 we are always out fighting and arguing about Trump, arguing about Biden. At the end of the day, what can our people agree on? You know, what are some of the things that you feel that we can do in all of this? You know, that's what we talk about. What can we agree on? And then we go from there. And I think once we can do that, we'll be all right. Guys, it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Subscribe, hit the bell. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Uh, guys, check me out here on the first comment at the top. Patreon is there. Check out the Black Man of Perfect t-shirts, guys. Thank you for all that you're doing. I really, really thank you for your support. And always remember, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. 
Don't forget to vote for the Metal Spirit Awards. We're out.